technology. Assisting and free nursing. management. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Technology. Design and visual communication. Masonry. Childhood education, medical laboratory, and assisting. Thank you. 
electrical. Metal fabrication and joining technologies. Electronics Technology, Painting and Design, Engineering Technology, Plumbing, Programming and Web Development. Good evening. On behalf of the Greater Lowell Technical School Committee, our faculty and staff would like to extend a warm welcome to our graduating seniors, their families and guests. My name is Joe Mastracola. I am the Superintendent Director. Our commencement exercises are the highlight of our school year. We're very happy you're here to celebrate this special evening and our student success. At this time, I would like everyone to rise as we honor our nation with the playing of the national anthem. that are 
that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the whole Please be seated. Join me in thanking our longtime musician and friend, Mr. Ralph Renaro, for contributing to his talents and enhancing our celebration. Thank you, Ralph. At this time, I would like to recognize and introduce our platform guests. Starting to my right, senior class advisor, Christy Gorman. 10th rank student, Andy Penn. 9th rank student, David Trainer. 8th rank student, Ethan Castillo. 7th rank student, Aria Sarute. 6th rank student, Anderson Noob. Nicholas Fisher, our class valedictorian. To my left, Vince Makasip, sorry, class salutatorian. Our commencement speaker, U.S. Congresswoman Laurie Trahan. Curtis LeMay, school committee chairperson from Lowell. Third rank student, Mackenzie Faria. Fourth rank student, Maggie Acosta Batista. Fifth rank student, Jordan Pereira. Senior class advisor, Kimberly Febreze. To my far right in the second row, Ray Booten, school committee member from Lowell. George O'Hare, school committee member from Lowell. George Tazio, school committee member from Tingsboro. Jill Davis, assistant superintendent principal. Continuing to my left. Matt Sheehan, school committee member from Dracut. Paul Morin, school committee member from Dracut. Kempton Giggy, school committee member from Dunstable. Also, at this time, would all veterans, military reservists, and active duty members of the armed forces Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. I have a few words of encouragement to our students. Students. As you stand on the brink of your graduation, we entrust you, the future generation, with this responsibility. Have faith in the world. Challenge injustice. Embrace your strengths. Respect your community. Value all that you've been taught. Know your own self-worth and hold unequivocally this truth. You have the right to be the best you can be. Have an attitude of gratitude. Appreciate your parents, families, friends, and community. Remember to hold on to your value system, your work ethic, and most importantly, your humanity. It is these qualities that will guide you further in your journey. Best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2019.
At this time, I'd like to introduce to the stage our class salutatorian, Vince Makaisa. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation for the class of 2019. My name is Vince Makaisip. I would like to begin tonight thanking and welcoming the chairman of the school committee, Curtis LeMay, and his colleagues, Superintendent Mr. Mastercola, Assistant Superintendent Ms. Jill Davis, and our commencement speaker, Congresswoman Lori Trahan. I would also like to thank the Greater Lowell faculty members, friends, and families. I stand here before you as your salutatorian, and I can honestly say I never expected this honor, especially because there were times during my years at Greater Lowell when I actively strove to avoid this position because of my great fear of public speaking. But here I am, and I'm going to keep this speech short. Throughout our four years at Greater Lowell Technical High School, we have had, all had many experiences. We have discovered who we are as academic students and as future employees. Most of us had goals and aspirations when we entered into this high school, and we had specific technical areas of interest. Though many of us stayed in our original shop, some of us changed to others. But even pursuing our initial shop has enabled all of us to change by participating in clubs and sports, entering the world of work with co-op, and competing in Skills USA, We have developed into more mature and experienced people by seizing all the opportunities that were provided to us. I truly believe that this is what Greater Lowell High School does to every student. It helps us develop and discover our passions in preparation for the life we have ahead of us. This is why I am sure that regardless of where you all may be going in the future, college, work, or the military, you will all be successful. Today is a day of celebration because all of our time and effort has paid off. So class of 2019, congratulations. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Curtis LeMay, Chair of our School Committee, who's going to give us his remarks and also introduce our commencement speaker, Congresswoman Trahan. Oh, where are we, Joe? Right here. Welcome, everyone. As we were gathering in back, uh, I could hear a lot of chatter in the, in the hallway that uh, Fallon's not here. Fallon's not coming tonight. I said, so you know that Mr. Fallon is not here tonight. It, we, I know you feel bad, but I just wanted to let you know that we had someone that volunteered to fill in his shoes. I'd like to introduce to you our school resource officer, Sergeant Manning from the Tingsboro Police Department. <laughs> I'll be brief. I want to thank the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles, your siblings. You deserve a round of applause. Thank you for investing in our school. We on the school board love Greater Lowell Technical School. We have a lot to offer. We just finished a $65 million renovation to the point that we have a state-of-the-art campus, uh, completely redone. Uh, we've, we've gotten a lot of good grants lately, too. I won't get into them, but we, uh, the state has given us extra money for our transportation and uh, a lot of other areas, and I just want to say thank you for that. 
Students, there's nothing that you can't achieve. Trust me when I say this. There's nothing you can't achieve. All you need to do is apply yourself, and it'll be there for you. You don't have to look any further than up in the rafters here of your family. They really believe in you. So after tonight, go out there and get it, because there's people waiting for you, especially in our field today. The baby boomers are retiring at a rapid rate. We have a lot of uh, openings, whether it's building trades or nursing or whatever. There's a lot of positions just waiting for you. So I will now like to introduce our Congresswoman. Laurie Trahan was born and raised in a working class family in Lowell, Massachusetts. Her father was a union iron worker and her mother was a domestic worker who juggled various part-time jobs while raising four girls. The first in her family to graduate from college, Laurie earned a scholarship to play Division I volleyball at Georgetown University. She joined the staff of former Congressman Marty Meehan as a scheduler, eventually working her way up to Chief of Staff. Following her public service, Laurie began working in the private sector as the only female executive at a tech company before moving on to co-found a woman-owned and operated consulting firm, Consaya, where she advised various companies on, vari on business strategy how to create the conditions for employees, especially women, to thrive. She and her husband, Dave, currently reside in Westford and are raising two young girls, Grace and Caroline, while keeping tabs on their three grown stepsons, Thomas, Dean, and Christian. As a member of the House Education and Labor and House Armed Services Committee, Laurie is focused on fighting for working families on issues such as affordable health care, quality public education, workforce development, the environment, and working to end the pain and suffering of the opiate crisis. Laurie is the first Portuguese-American woman elected to Congress and is a member of the New Dems and the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Please welcome our commencement speaker this evening, U.S. Congresswoman Laurie Trahan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it is such an honor to be here with all of you tonight. Thank you, Superintendent Mastracola, Assistant Superintendent Davis, Chairman LeMay, members of the school committee, esteemed guests, faculty, administrators, proud parents and family members, and of course, the Greater Lowell Technical High School Class of 2019. Graduates, you are a special group. We don't all know each other personally, but I talk about you all the time. In those instances, it's always from a place of immense pride. Each of you made a decision several years ago to go boldly in the direction of your calling, to put down a marker and set specific goals for yourself. Today, we are gathered to celebrate a big step toward reaching those goals. Some of you might have known exactly which program you were going to pursue when you got here, and others might have benefited from test driving a few options before deciding on the one. Some of you might be beginning work in your field as early as Monday, and some of you might be going off to college at the end of this summer to continue your education. But along the way, you were all faced with important decisions about what vocation to pursue so that you could acquire the skills to be competitive in our economy and build a successful life. I know people much older than you that haven't done that yet. And I'm not kidding. Too often we hear people of all ages, really, say, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. 
Now it's cute and it's expected when I'm talking to my five and nine-year-old daughters, but I can tell you that it becomes less adorable as you get older. And I don't say this because we have to have our life's blueprint all mapped out at an early age. I mean, that would be impossible. But with age comes an expectation that we'll rule certain things out and we'll be able to articulate where our interests lie. Graduates, you have gone well beyond that at an age earlier than most. And let me say this, it gives you an incredible advantage. As someone who sat where you are 28 years ago, I can tell you that life happens quickly. Time is unbelievably precious. When we don't actively prepare ourselves for the life that we want, time doesn't slow down, it doesn't wait for us, it indiscriminately marches forward. So keep leaning into those important decisions and accelerating your own growth and development. Stay in close touch with what makes you happy what gives you energy, because those are valuable inputs. I'm no stranger to this institution or the role that it plays in our region. As Chairman LeMay said, I grew up right here in Lowell. I went to public schools my whole life. My dad was a union iron worker. My mom juggled multiple part-time minimum wage jobs while raising my three sisters and me. We didn't have much, but we had enough. My grandparents were immigrants from Portugal and Brazil, and I was the first person in my family to graduate from college. Thank you. I did earn a scholarship to go to Georgetown University, a school I had dreamed of going to because I had had one of the best foreign service programs in the country. And you know, at age 15, you know exactly what you're gonna do. I was going to be a foreign service officer, a diplomat. Well, that didn't happen. And be ready for that, because life happens and your priorities are going to change. I came back to my community and worked in public service, and I instantly realized that my interest was rooted in service, and I didn't have to travel halfway around the globe in order to do that. It was as rewarding and noble to do that in the community that I called home. My husband, David, whom I actually picked out of the crowd, I can see him, he also grew up here in Lowell. He knew instinctively that he wasn't going to follow his friends to Lowell High School and then off to college. He opted in, instead to attend this very institution. He studied drafting, got a coveted co-op at Wang Labs, which none of you have ever heard of, but trust me, it was a big deal. And there, he learned CAD design. Today, he is a, a successful home builder and active in our community. He had the training and the tools he needed to be successful in his industry and to give back generously to our community. He loves what he does. I mean, there is nobody I know that embodies the familiar adage, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life, because he truly found his calling. Graduates, this institution is very special to Dave and to me. It actually shaped my family before I even knew it. In fact, my husband and I toured here together as one of my first stops last year on the campaign, on a campaign trail that, though it was not always thought possible, led me to be with you here tonight. You will hearken back to your experience, your teachers, your friends, your coaches, here at Greater Lowell Technical High School throughout your entire life. The education and training you received here will provide a launch pad for your pursuit of your version of the American dream. The American dream means something different to everyone, but the underpinning of this national aspiration is having the opportunity to achieve your hopes and your dreams. Because the hopes and dreams part is deeply personal, by definition, mine are different than yours. And because there are so many variations, there are many different paths to take. Pursuing your American dream might lead you to exciting and exotic places. Or like David and me, you may realize your dream is rooted right here at home. It may lead some of you to go to college and some of you right to work. It could be to call to, so to serve our country in some form or to make our community a better place to live. There's no right answer. It's your dream and it's your vocation. 
Vocation is an important word and one that isn't used very often. I dwelled on its meaning as I was preparing to talk to you, and of course I did what all old people do, and I looked up its definition in the dictionary. And my nine-year-old mocked me by asking Alexa and then asking Siri. But I, I showed her the dictionary that I used, and I showed her that vocation is a noun, and it's defined by Merriam-Webster as a strong feeling of suitability for a particular career or occupation. Its synonyms are a calling, life's work, purpose, a mission. A vocation, in short, is more than a job. It's more than something you do nine to five, five days a week. It's a duty that gives your life and the lives of those around you meaning. It is a super special thing. So don't take for granted the fact that you know yours. Many people do not. They're not as fortunate. Each of you are on an important and specific path. That is not to say that that path won't change. It likely will. It did for me many times. And I like to think that it all worked out. Whatever your vocation, do it well. Make it your American dream. Look, our country today is confronted by a host of important issues. Everything from tackling climate change, cybersecurity threats and automation, opioid addiction, violence abroad or here at home. Despite our warring economy and record unemployment rate, our deficit has grown to $2 trillion this year. And a high cost of living dramatically outpaces some working families' earnings. But you're, and you're graduating at an interesting time where society driven by new technologies and new behaviors is evolving at faster than any other time in our human history. Our culture and our institutions are struggling to keep up. It is against this backdrop that you find yourselves graduating. Never has it been important, more important, for us, for you, to take control of our fate. Important choices will be made on your watch, and we need you to participate, to engage, and to lead. Our young people have always been our country's most important asset. Throughout history, you have led social movements, you've disrupted traditional thinking, you've started companies big and small, and you've valiantly served our country. In our region, we are in desperate need of the skills that you possess. The economy has once again surfaced our immediate need for plumbers, electricians, mechanics, and childcare providers. Our parents and our grandparents who want to age in place demand more assisted living and home health care providers, LPNs, and RNs. We need workers who can operate CNC machines, work with G-code, and perform any task in a machine shop environment so that we, the United States of America, can stay at the tip of the spear of innovation and economic prosperity. Because of Greater Lowell Technical High School and the education you all received, you are uniquely positioned to help lead on so many fronts. This chapter of your life may be ending, but a new one starts today. Each of you is equipped to be the best you can be as you advance to the next phase of your journey. You will carry the dignity that comes with working hard and excelling at your vocation. Wherever you go next, what's important to remember is that we need you to follow the same instinct that you had when you decided to enroll at the Greater Lowell Tech. The stakes are high, and it's imperative that you, the graduating class of 2019, recognize your ability to reshape our country, our community. As someone who was seen up close and learned from the talent and the activism of the next generation, I know that I want you by my side as we tackle and solve these problems. You have advanced skills greater than many others entering the workforce, and that edge is a source of pride and of confidence. Please use it to all of our advantage. It will not be easy, and you will absolutely encounter failure more than once. Don't let it deter you. Failure is a necessary part of the process. Failure is indeed a necessary part of improvement. So just wring out the learning and make a commitment to be better tomorrow than you are today. We need you. Graduates, 
Your class gives me enormous hope and pride. Celebrate this milestone with your loved ones, with the knowledge that... Is that like the Oscars? Are you telling me to get off? <laughs> Celebrate this milestone with your loved ones and with the knowledge that the Greater Lowell Technical High School has prepared you for the times ahead. Graduates, congratulations. Thank you, Congresswoman Trahan. Please accept the gift from the class of 2019 as a small token of our appreciation for your presence and participation in this evening's graduation ceremony. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite valedictorian Nicholas Fisher. How is everyone? Everyone excited? I'm glad, I'm glad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick Fisher, and it is a great honor to be here before all of you today. I would like to start by expressing my appreciation to all the teachers, staff, friends, family, and fellow students who helped me get to where I am today. I would also like to thank the Chairman of the School Committee, Curtis LeMay and his colleagues, Superintendent Mr. Mastercola, Assistant Superintendent Ms. Davis, and our commencement speaker, Congresswoman Lori Trahan. It has been an exciting four years we have had at Greater Lowell Technical High School. I clearly remember that drastic change from middle school to high school. I remember walking into that enormous school filled with people and places unknown to me. I remember meeting new and strange people and being accepted into this new community of fellow students who are all related through our goal of a technical education. As ninth graders, we were unsure of what to expect as we took that first step into the next four years of our high school career. However, the overwhelming feeling of abrupt change and strangeness quickly withered away as we formed bonds over the next four years. This is not a step any of us regret, though. Greater Lowell Tech is where we have all learned how to grow as people. Now take a second and look to the people to your left and right. None of us knew that these were the ones we would grow so close to. If you did, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> From the moment we selected our shops to this final day of our high school career, these people became our friends. They became the people who have always been there for us. I bet you all had plenty of mixed emotions towards them. There were times when you felt frustrated with fellow students, but don't forget, sometimes you were that person that was difficult to deal with. There were other times where you could all laugh at a mistake and even come up with jokes that only your shop would understand. Most importantly, these are the people who have become your school family, the ones with whom you worked in day in and day out, the ones you knew had your back, and the ones who knew would always be there for you. Now, I would like you to heed this warning. No matter where you go in life, how far you may succeed or how far you may fall, always remember the people who matter. Your friends, your family, and your teachers. It is these people who stand behind you, support you through every difficulty, and will be there to pick you up when you fall who matter most. No successful person has ever achieved everything completely on their own. Successful people have accepted the helpful hands of others. I'm not going to stand here 
and tell everyone to look back on how they have grown over the years. Seeing where you started will not tell you where you are going. While you have made it through struggles to become who you are today, it is not the hardships that define you. It's your ability to conquer and overcome any barrier standing in the way of success. Looking back does not show the answers to the future. If we ponder only on the past, we shall never drive forward in our life. While the past can show what has been accomplished, it can never show what is possible to accomplish. It is your outlook, your commitment, and your determination to succeed that will define what the future holds. With that said, congratulations to all the graduates of the class of 2019. Okay, it's that time. It's my pleasure to introduce our Assistant Superintendent Principal, Jill Davis, for the conferring of the diplomas. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored and privileged to be here this evening and very proud to announce the graduates of Greater Lowell Technical High School, Class of 2019. <laughs> Beginning with our top 10 students. The number 10 ranked student, Andy A. Penn. All the way to your line. <laughs> yes. Andy Penn. <laughs> the number ninth ranked student, David, David W. Trainer Jr. <laughs> the number eighth ranked student, Ethan Castillo. The number seventh ranked student, Aria Sarute. The number sixth ranked student, Anderson K. New. The number fifth ranked student, Jordan A. Pereira. The number fourth ranked student, Maggie J. Acosta Batista. The number third ranked student, Mackenzie Ann Furrier. The number two ranked student and the salutatorian of the class of 2019, Vince J. Makaisip. I would like to call to the stage health instructor, Ms. Brenda Fisher, to present the diploma to her son, the number one ranked student and, and the valedictorian of the class of 2019, Nicholas G. Fisher. The Automotive Collision Repair and Refinishing Program. Devin A. Cruz. Maximiliano R. Diaz. Stephanie M. Duarte. Justice A. Gano. Isaiah M. King. Tony J. Ramos C. 
Jason Tron. Rosalinda Rosario Sanchez. Chelsea M. Sanchez. George A. St. Hilaire. Robert A. St. Hilaire, Jr. The Automotive Technology Program. Nicholas A. Alves. Joseph Amaral. Alex M. Aruda. Andrew J. Blazinski. Johnny S. Chia. Richard B. Conley, the second. Sadik J. El Saidi. Gabriel Farias. Zachary M. Figueredo. Nick R. Floramond. Louis G. Gomez. Donald J. Lassard. Darren Loke. Justice M. Lopes. Dylan R. Luna. Richard Mendoza, Jr. Haley J. O'Keefe. Leonardo Orduno. Calvin Ohm. Louis Pagan, Jr. Kakruna N. Penn. Anthony Packencombe. Ryan W. Pong. Sithavas J. Raza. Scott M. Sabatka. Joshua E. Torero. Ethan K. Thatch. Israel J. Vasquez. The Computer Aided Drafting and Design Program. Jacob D. Avery. I'm sorry, Freddie G. Andino. <laughs> Jacob D. Avery. Evan C. Duval. Joseph S. Ford. Ryan Gonzalez. Sierra L. Martinez. Alexander M. Patnod. Jeff M. Peroni. Jason M. Papalo. Vladimir Rosario. Ryan M. Silva. Steve E. Tavares. Sokantiri Var. The Carpentry Program. Manuel A. Aravalo. Tyler G. Briere. Marin R. Clark. Brian C. Cook. Dominic C. Cruz. Tyler A. Kuna. Andrew J. DeRoges. Pamela Gallego. Lionel M. Gardner. Andreas Guerrero. Joshua Hasty. 
Jacob R. Labonte, Marcelino D. Lamarche Cruz, Nicholas P. Lanier, Jalen M. McNeil, Melinda M. Nguyen, Angel G. Nieves, Juan M. Pineda, Cole M. Richards, Hans Rivera Abreu, Odom Sang, Juan C. Serrano Jr. Christina T. Shoemaker, Sean L. Tebow, Brian J. Toasty, Ricardo J. Trinidad, Patrick R. Vail, Sophia M. Young, The Cosmetology Program, Alicia Ayala Coto, Kisiris M. Castillo, Madison J. Cormier, Sarah N. Kucher, Veronica M. Flores, Jolene S. Gill. Traylon Heng, Sandra M. Homem, Rachel L. Jakes, Alexi A. Johnstone, Taylor K. Lamb, Rayan M. Lauren, Joshua D. Lavender, Maya A. Medina, Kathleen E. Morin, Julia A. O'Keefe, Marizelli Oliva, Jessica L. Peleologus, Ruby I. Pena. Grace M. Pepong Savam, Waverly Robles, Nathan E. Rosado, Steve J. V. Sluian, Lachna C. Sock, Brooke E. Susie. Hope E. Vigdor, Giselle S. Villar, Sierra S. Wally, The Culinary Arts Program, Elizabeth L. Isaya, Carlos M. Andrades, Austin M. Berry. Gregory S. Brown, Melissa M. Burgos, Taylor E. N. Carroll, Jalen M. Cruz, Leilani Cuervas, Dwayne D. Dumont, Adam C. D. Jacob R. Emerson. Felicia A. Furtado. Josiah X. Hernandez. Maguire R. Johnson. Emily M. 
Machado. Willow C.S. Marquis. Kayra M. Mejia Martinez. Bianca M. Ortiz. Christian G. Reyes. Natasha L. Rosario. Shauna L. Sock. Paul J. White. The Design and Visual Communications Program. Benjamin A. Arbogast. Caitlin R. Cartier. Hallie L. Dalrymple. Marianella Familia. Claire L. B. William. Glorabel Hortas Cologne. Gabriel P. LaFontaine. Caroline M. Landis. Brett M. McKay. Tiffany McMorakoff. Bon Nguyen. Sergi Orfanos. Vila S. Pomaseth. Alexia M. Penalis. Christian A. Ribeiro. Dorong D. Sess. Blaze A. Silva. Madeline Sophia. Brian Itaka N. Barr. The Early Childhood Education Program. Callie J. Bartlett. Monica Babawi. Matthew S. Brady. Natalie Diaz. Tainara M. Faria. Samantha M. Fontaine. Kiana A. Heng. Emily Ann M. Horde. Isabella M. Livoli. Ediana M. Marrero. Jason R. Montero. Christian J. Pereira. I would like to call to the stage school committee man, Mr. Ray Booten, to present the diploma to Alexandria J. Quintal. Thank you. Sovanara T. Reth. Jaylene I. Rivera. Michaela C. Royal. Kaylee A. Santiago. Reguan L. Santiago. Chrissy N. Silvera. Wesley J. Suarez. Keishla M. Trinidad. Evan B. Wilkins. The Electrical Program. Alexander V. G. Anderson. Jonathan M. Bretsky. Paul Choate III. Alan S. Chun. Ricardo A. DeLeon. Matthews M. Farrell. Justin M. Finch. Jacob P. Gonzalez. Jeremy M. Gray. Justin M. Gulledge. Jada Lee M. Harvey. Kevin T. Joyce. Ryan M. Kennison. Connor P. Legacy. 
Abdil Y. Lopez, Ezekiel Luna, Adam D. Malahan, Sean K. McCormick, Barack J. Oak, Tyler J. Pacheco, Ben B. Pan, Jaden S. Thomason, Devin Prack, Nathan M. Ripley, Kobe A. Sawyer, Alan K. Young. The Electronics Technology Program, Philip Abad, Isaac K. Avon. I would like to call to the stage Guidance Counselor Mr. Andy Bladis to present a diploma to his son, Evan G. Bladis. Caleb V. Chan. Frank C. Disla. Colin J. Harvey. Sean Locke. Cole M. Mandeville. Colin E. McKenna. Ken Roddy Mum. Tyler S. Nunn. Jeffrey M. Nolan, Nicholas V. Platiel, Lauren M. Porter, Edison M. Saldariaga, Alejandro Santana, Sebastian Simonphone, Raymond C. Tang. The Engineering Technology Program, Matthew M. Borges, Leo D. Brown, Alethea K. Chalenfong, Rivko Chia, Angelina C. Chim, Ryan W. Conboy, Zachary T. Day, Adrian J. Delgado, Tyler Hang Doronicom, Kiara Hernandez, Rashad D. Herring, Alvin C. Ng, Jacob D. Kelly. Joey Camvontong, Ernest J. Labonte, Araceli Lopez, Jake H. Matusiak, Michael R. Newton, Joel Christian J. Ortega, Soterios Papa Giorgio. Carlos Y. Pomaris, Justin J. Savuth, Matthew D. Smith. We're switching sides. We're switching chat. Well, oh, thank you. We're going to switch sides. The Graphics Communication Technology Program. Amanda T. Arcand. Lillian R. Dean. Madison F. Emerson. Noel M. Glidden. Louis J. Huertas. Christina M. Landry. Yelitsa P. Luna. Kelly R. Lyman, K. 
Cassidy J. Martel. Jovan S. Montalvo. Noah M. Neves. Alexis M. Newsom. Patricia J. Peck. Victoria L. Petros. Abigail V. Fowl. Molly N. Pimentel. Montserrat L. Saavedra. Sophia N. Santiago. The Health Assisting Pre-Nursing Program. Alexis E. Beamid. Lauren S. Bedell. Samantha P. Brady. Kayleen S. Chia. Dasini N. Chan. Soya Che. Mariah E. Cologne. Haley J. Sear. Destiny M. Dorham. Aaliyah E. Estevez. Andrea Guerrero. Adrian C. Keeve. Haley A. A. Kirby. Kylie O. Larkin. Derek J. Lopez. Philippe G. Mason. Shireen E. Bowa. Kimberly J. McCusker. Destiny L. Melendez. Alexis M. Moran. Nevea J. Neil Buchanan. Ashley C. Ocampo. Francesca Ortiz Gonzalez. Joel M. Perez. Samantha P. Palm. Lexis A. Peng Pong Savon. Dalen M. Rich. Catherine Rojo. Mauser R. Sencion Reyes. Jessica R. Sang. Millie Sim. Malia A. Smith. Chanda S. Toy. Krista Lee L. Vega. Nia J. Welch. Caitlin M. Wilson. Hannah E. Yates. The Hospitality Management Program. Eva A. Gonzalez. Stephanie L. LaJoy. Rose Milani Martinez. Priscilla K. Peck. Adonalise Rosario. Alicia S. Seeley. Sierra A. Vargas. Kira M. Whitney. The Heating, Ventilation, Air Condition, and Refrigeration Program. Benjamin J. Bardzik. Thomas N. Berlamaki. John D. Christian. Dylan M. Del Priori. Brandon P. Duby. Justin E. Gitchier. Zachary T. Grenier. Kyle P. Joyce. Christian T. Lima. Kyle G. Luckus. Isaiah R. McCutcheon. Andrew J. Melanson. Craig P. Murphy. Cameron W. O'Brien. 
Cody A. Peretti. Michael J. Picanzo. David Rodriguez. Zachary T. Smith. Ilias J. Sousa. Evan A. Samansky. Joseph S. Zagarella. The Machine Technology Program. Christopher A. Anaya. Nathan A. Bay. Tommy B. Chun. Calvin R. M. Rodney Garcia. John Gomez. Harold Guzman. Johnson K. Hike. James J. Hudson. Adam J. Kurowski. Sincere Lee. Miguel L. Lira. Juan R. Melendez. Elijah J. Murray. Daniel W. Parkinson. Tyrese M. Four. The Marketing Education Program. Tiana L. Beaupre. Ashley D. Betancourt. Miguel A. Camargo. Juan M. Carmona. Joshua D. Cruz. Laudi A. Kubalete. Lauren E. Deegan. Tasia Lee M. Diaz Zayas. Wallace J. Edwards. Brian J. Egan. Sabrina M. Hamilton. Cassandra E. Hernandez. Bernard N. Hinga. Dylan J. Ewart. Destiny J. Johnston. Michaela G. Kelly. Brittany Martinez. Michaela A. Medina. Naisha M. Morrell. Malin G. Pimentel. Adriana M. Rosario. Doris A. Sanchez. Elizabeth Santos Balbuena. Calvin Saison Com Ram. Hangley Sam. The Masonry Program. Kalika Ong. Louis A. Baez. I would like to call to the stage school committeeman, Mr. Ray Booten, to present the diploma to Dylan P. Bishop. <laughs> Jeremy R. Bashun Zelinsky. <laughs> Chain A. Shatnoff. Anthony J. DeRoges, Lucas H. Faust, Chad M. Foster, Nathan J. Golisano, Kayla M. Gonzalez, Michael P. Greenelge, Joseph L. Jakes, Madeline N. Kearns, Kaplan S. Lay, Sean M. Murphy, Carlos M. Nicolau, Ryan J. Pagat, William J. Rondo Jr., Adrian J. Tejeda, Owen M. Wangari, 
the Medical Laboratory and Assisting Program, Ashley P. Elcantara Pineda, Ariana L. Alisea, Matthew C. Barbosa, Ludy Miller K. Bastos da Silva, Jennifer C. Borges, Tenna Brown, Jeanne Camara, Destiny Candelario, Rebecca M. Chin, Abigail M. Cody, Pedro H. D'Souza, Jasmine A. Delano Lazo, Brianna K. Evesi Mendez, Brianna R. Figueroa, Madeline M. Holman, Erin H. Hunt, Isabella L. Killen, Fata K. Kra, Alyssa L. Lee, Selena Mam, Raisa E. Manon, Kendra L. Marsh, Selena J. Millman, Lindsay R. Miranda, Kathy M. Oganowski, Starly Perez, Kayla M. Rabello, Lily A. Rigg, Hecchioli Rivera, Nicole M. Ruiz Rosario, Anita K. Sow, Nicholas C. Sheridan, Natalia Sola, Cindy L. Susano, Soria Tita R. T. Briani L. Velasquez, Shonda B. Wallace, the Metal Fabrication and Joining Technologies Program, Drusilla M. Briggs, Jesus G. Cardenas, Jerry Cruz, Christian E. Da Silva, Malachi M. Huth, Nicholas A. Lafabe, Johnny Munoz Mena, Carissa J. Rice, Brandon Samith, Tori M. Smith, Xavier J. Torado. Painting and Design Program, Alexis P. Alves, Nizea J. Chartier, Chelsea M. Cronia, Miranda L. Demont, Jenna B. Gillis, Emily M. Golia, Eliana R. Hernandez, Darwin J. Martinez, Jaylene T. Panero, Justice S. Stallworth, The Plumbing Program, Eric W. Erosis, Jeremy J. Amador, Jordan E. Capra, Cameron B. Carbono, Lauren E. Kumis, Devin S. Farrell, Louis G. Harry Mota, 
Kimani A. Lewis. Ryan Lukic. Andrew J. Mason. Jake R. Montblou. Sydney G. Moulton. I would like to call to the stage Tingsboro Select Selectman, Mr. Steve Nako, to present a diploma to his son, Kyle J. Nako. Jacob R. Noel. Amaya L. Rivera. James D. Rivera. Gavin M. Sautel. Devel M. Smith. Christian J. Sousa. Ryan F. Travers. The Programming and Web Development Program, Emily M. Azevedo, Alexander L. Bergeron Naper, Carson K. Boulay, Sophia R. Bronson, Paul M., Miranda A. Gallant, Nayeli N. Guzman, Ravon Keem, Evan D. LeBlanc, Catherine A. Lee, Anthony J. Letizia, Gabrielle E. McCarthy, Ethan F. McGuire, Anthony R. Melissi, John D. Murray. Milani T. Nyung. Selena S. Fisakev. Raymond V. Pitch. Brian G. Pimentel. Wilfredo Rodriguez. Paul D. Santry. And Jeffrey M. Springer. again. I would like to call Adrian Delgado and Matthew Barbosa of the class of 2019 to the stage to present a gift of appreciation to their class advisors, Ms. Perez and Ms. Gorman, followed by a moment of reflection from Ms. Perez. Thank you. Good evening. I would like to thank our two class advisors, Mrs. Fabrez and Mrs. Gorman. We as a class kept these two wonderful people very busy. They organized class events such as prom, senior week, and other activities. They even chased us down for class dues. None of these activities would have happened without you. So on behalf of the senior class, I'd like to present these gifts for you.
Will the class of 2019 pause with me for a moment of reflection? I'm going to use my mom voice. As Mrs. Gorman and I started to prepare for this last week of your high school career, we reflected on how much this class has meant to us over the last four years. We shared stories, we laughed, and I'm not going to lie, we cried. From this, we realized what last pieces of parting advice we wanted to give you. As you move into adulthood, remember the way you looked at life when you were four. You would leave your comfort zone without hesitation to try new things. You'd ask questions and keep asking until you understood. And finally, you would laugh and you never held on to anger. As you move on to this next chapter, remember to laugh on life's journey and turn your wounds into wisdom. Do not forget the lessons you learned here at Greater Lowell. This is not an ending, it is just the beginning for each and every one of you. As a wise man said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. To all the families, friends with us tonight, we want to thank you for sharing your children with us. To our graduates, thank you for being you. We want to wish you good luck. Please never, ever, ever stop reaching for your dreams. Know that we will always be here for you, and we will miss you dearly. Congratulations, class of 2019.